this is Lindy. I'm Russell. From Love Create Celebrate. Welcome back to our channel where we share all of our DIY and home renovation videos. If you have not subscribed to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future DIY and renovations. Today, we're hanging out under the stairs. We're in the space we call the secret place because we are renovating this space for our kids to give them a little room under the stairs. And we're gonna be using our Wagner paint sprayer to spray it all. So this video is sponsored by Wagner and today we're gonna to be showing us using the gun. And then also more importantly, how easy this gun is to clean once you're done. And it's actually one of the awesome features of this unit is how easy it is to clean up. This room has already been through several phases, but today we are going to finally be painting this space using our paint sprayer for the kids. So yeah, today is about paint. We have to prime, seal everything, and then hopefully uh, spray some color and then we can let it uh, sit and until we do stage, final stage, no more stage. So now we're gonna go grab our paint sprayer and prep this space for paint. Like we said, we are going to show you how to use the paint sprayer in a small space like this, how to clean it off, and how to clean gunk that's been stuck for a long time. But first we want to give you a little history of the space itself. The space started out as a storage area when we first bought the house and then the kids slowly took over it because it actually is right adjacent to the playroom. So originally it had textured drywall on this half and then this half wasn't didn't have anything and then there was a wall here that was supporting the landing and then we were getting some drywall done in the house so that we got the dry we took out all the textured drywall and we got the drywall guy to put up new board in here. Um, it got trimmed, it got new flooring. It actually had a gray flooring in here initially just when the kids were playing so it was nice to work out or play off of. And then we had some extra flooring from when we did the stairs so we finished that out so it all matches. Um, and then we trimmed it all out. It has all molding in here. I mean, we did pot lights. It has some electrical. We're gonna put some LED strips. And then I put up some MDF against the stairs to kind of finish that out. So I think uh, it's actually come quite a long ways. So here is what the space looks like after all of that hard work. Now it's time to plastic it all off, get it ready for paint, and show you how quick and easy it is to both use the paint sprayer and clean it off after. We're ready to prime, that's the first step. Um, I have everything masked off, the floor is covered, outlets are covered. I'm plugging the machine there, so I just try to protect the cord a little bit. I mean, you can see the machine has gotten lots of overspray. Um, so one of the cool features or options that the Wagner sprayer has is these um, spray cup liners. You just take it, it goes in your paint pot, you just wrap it around here, and then you pour your paint in, and then you don't have to clean the whole pot afterwards. You can just pour the paint in, and then when you're done, you grab the paint liner, and then you can throw it out, which helps clean it up pretty quick. Um, we'll show you the other steps once we're done priming. are using the Wagner Flexio 5000 today. We love this paint sprayer. We've used it for a ton of projects from staining to furniture pieces to rooms. And if you want a full tutorial about how to use this sprayer and how to change all the settings and which nozzle to use, all of those details are in one of our other videos which I will link here up top for you. Don't mind our super messy paint sink as we show you how to clean off your paint sprayer. If you want to salvage the paint, you can. I only have like a little bit, so I'm just gonna throw it in the garbage. So this is all clean. I still get like your threads, a little bit of a rinse. Mm -hmm. So we have this small wire brush that we will use for some detail cleaning later on, but the first thing you're going to do is just soak the paint sprayer and hold the trigger back to let water go right through the sprayer. 
We always keep a bucket on hand and we just fill that with warm water and slowly take apart our spray gun one piece at a time, rinsing each piece under the warm water until it's all nice and clean. If you clean your spray gun right after you're done using it, it's so fast and easy to clean. It honestly only took us a couple minutes to do this entire clean, but if you have let it sit or you have built up paint on the outside of your gun, we'll show you in a couple of minutes how to clean that all off thoroughly. Then when it comes to cleaning the more intricate pieces like the nozzle itself, this is where we pull out the small wire brush. This small wire brush lets us gently remove any built up paint or dried paint that could prevent the sprayer from working properly the next time if we left it there. And finally, if we're not using the paint sprayer for a little while, we'll usually just fill a bucket with some warm water and let the parts soak for a bit just to make sure we've gotten everything off of it. Before we show you how to do a really thorough clean of any of the stuck on gunk, we are going to paint this small space under the stairs. And if you're curious about what color we were choosing, here it is. It's this beautiful bluey green color from Valspar. I will link it in the description if you want to see, but we were very excited to get this up on the walls. We're painting the ceiling, the trim, and the walls in here, which makes it a really great space to use our paint sprayer in. And this entire room took only about half an hour to paint. As a bonus to all of you, we are actually giving away a Wagner Flexio 5000 paint sprayer, which is amazing. It's the one we always use and we love. If you would like to enter to win that, please visit my Instagram page. I will link everything in the description below and you can have your chance to win one of these guys. We'll start by cleaning this guy out exactly the same way we did when we used the primer. You can see that this time we didn't use one of the bag inserts and it is a bit more work to clean the pot without it. We have to scrub it a few times with the brush and rinse it a few extra times, but still really fast and easy to clean this paint sprayer. If your machine has been sitting a while, um, if you didn't get it to it right away, mine, the insides are actually pretty clean, but the outside just has lots of overspray on it. You can use a mineral spirit wash, and this is actually talked about in the Wagner directions. Um, so we just got this stuff, uh, mineral spirits. So what I do is I just have a bucket because you don't necessarily want this in your drain system. Um, and I have all my pieces. So this is then soaking in water. So I just drain the water, put the pieces in the bucket. You're not trying to fill the bucket with mineral spirits because that would cost a lot. You're just using the bucket to kind of hold the mineral spirits and then you can bring it up. And uh, here, I'll show you the tools I'm using too. I just put a bunch in the bucket so I can soak it and use the brush to kind of wipe it. I'm not trying to immerse the whole, all the pieces in the mineral spirit solution. So some of the tools I have, I just have a little bristle brush I have like, this is just a little pick and this is a flat blade screwdriver and you can use some of this. You don't want to like use these in the orifices and stuff and, and mess up the holes. You just want to use it if you have cake on the out, paint caked on on the outside and you can use that to help kind of clean it off. So here you can kind of see, so I just get the brush, I put some of the mineral spirits on the brush and I did, um, you can start kind of scrubbing your piece. And you can see it actually comes off fairly quickly. Like the stuff that's overspray isn't very well bonded to the gun itself. Um, and then if you have areas where the paint's not coming off, you can kind of just scrape it. It should get soft with the mineral spirits. And then once you kind of scrape it and get it scratched, the brush kind of takes it off further.
you can see here, like that was stuff I haven't right wiped yet. And this is the area that's wiped. And I mean, it looks pretty clean. Half of it too is this, once you get the mineral spirits just kind of on it and it starts soaking into the paint, it softens the paint up and then it wipes off fairly easy. So if you did let paint sit in here and it got it all caked on on the inside, you could use the mineral spirits and um, just pour some in into the jug itself and let it sit and that this will break up the paint and get the paint nice and soft and then you can just use like a scrub pad to try and wipe it out. In regards to these little pieces, that's where some of these tools come in handy. Like you can use them to kind of scratch. You don't want to force it in here because you don't want to change the size, but you can kind of just scratch it. You're just trying to break up the paint and the mineral spirits will do some of the work. It does soften the paint. And, but you don't want, like I said, you don't want to force this in and like start prying on this plastic because if you wreck this plastic, that's the seal that gives you your nice uniform spray and then you'll actually affect the performance of your sprayer but you can just use it, like I'm just lightly, I'm hardly putting any pressure and it's taking all this um, caked on paint off. When we were done, here is what the paint spray looked like. There's very little paint left on here and it only honestly took a few minutes to clean and a few extra minutes to soak some of the pieces. So it can be really fast and easy to clean your paint spray, especially if you're cleaning it right after you use it maintenance on this guy is so easy. And here's how our space under the stairs looks now. I love this paint color. I am so excited to tackle this space. Stay tuned because this renovation is going to come out in a month or so. I also hope we answered all of your questions about using and cleaning a paint sprayer. If you have any other questions, please drop them in the comments. And if you have any thoughts or ideas about this space, we would love to see those in the comments too. Please give this video a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching.